everyone, we're gonna make a color wheel inspired by masks and we're gonna be using watercolor paper and watercolor color pencils. Here are the steps. Number one, create a circle with 12 sections. You're going to draw on the rough side of the watercolor paper using the circle stencils that I created. These stencils are great because they already have little notches. Notches are indentations at the edge of the shape of the circle. And these notches are gonna help you create the sections later on. Use a ruler to connect the notches. Your line should overlap exactly at the center, almost like a vanishing point. Number two, draw your mask design with pencil. Use lines and shapes to design your mask and remember to draw lightly. Number three, trace your design with Sharpie. Trace your design carefully. At this time, you can think of different details you can add. You can fill in some areas to make your design bolder. You can add different patterns or different lines to make your design stand out. Number four, add color to each section. Remember the color wheel? Well, you have to look at the color wheel in order to place each color in the right section. The order of the colors is very important. You'll be using watercolor pencils, and in order to create the tertiary colors, you're going to overlap a primary and a secondary color. Number five, add water to mix. You should start with the lightest color, which is yellow. Take your brush, dip it in the water, and dab it gently on a piece of paper towel. It's very important that your brush is not soaking wet. Stroke the areas of color with your brush gently. You will see how the color starts to mix with the water. Every time you move on to another color, you should clean your brush with water and dab it on the paper towel. Make sure you let your work dry completely. Number six, add less details with Sharpie. Use a Sharpie to add even more details on your mask. You can add a design on the edge of your circle of the color wheel, and you can add more details inside the mask area, uh, more patterns, other lines that you can use to add more interest to your art. Number seven, add a background. You can create a simple background using the black watercolor pencil, uh, just the same way you did before, using water later on. Or you can just use a silver or a gold color pencil. It should be a neutral color. That's it, you're all done. Here are other examples that I made. You can make yours an oval shape instead of a circle like the example on the right. Bye!